Hi all. I wanted to say why do we pray? So so what is is that? What what is is that? You know, prayer is not just a it's just a thing that we do. It's just it's not just a thing that we do like um like a a thing that we must do or, or or we have to do or we should do or anything like that. It's not it's not just not it's not it's not just that we have we have to do. It's also a it's also as well as that putting that aside and 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 using that at the same time. It's also a Prayer is also a, is also a way of unveiling what's what what God is trying to push through through the cosmos through the spiritual realm, whilst the devil is trying to fight against fight against us receiving the blessing. So whenever we pray anything, any request that we made we made we make we make known to God that that like it says in the Bible, it it well, it, it comes it, it's already been it's already been delivered. But it's it's a case of it taking a while to come because of because of um, principalities and demonic spirits fighting against it, and also prayer is an opening up of of understanding so that when we pray the devil can't the devil when we don't pray when we don't pray the devil blinds us from the truth of what God is revealing to us. So when we pray, God God when we pray we we, we the the Holy Spirit fights against. And the uh, and the warring warring angels fight against. I've actually seen a warring angel before, visually, like three of them, in a room one time, in a in a in a house one time. But the warring warring angels. One day I'm gonna one day I'm gonna draw it for you. But um, yeah, the warring angels fight against the the principalities, the demonic spirits, to try and fight fight to make make access to to getting the message to to the to to me or to any Christians. And the guardian angels fight as well, as well as the Holy Spirit trying to to protect me and and and, and any any other Christians. Um, you have, you have to really look in look in God's word of what of what prayer means, because even the groans God God understands the groans and the and the murmurs God understands it in prayer, like it says in the Bible. The, the and the Holy Spirit will interpret it. To God for us on our on our behalf, and then Jesus in, intercede on our behalf when we made our no, our request known to God. But when we pray, God God reveals, God reveals like God reveals 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 stuff to us as the scales are pulled back from our eyes when the devil tries to blind us and try to try to stop our stop stop stop. Stop us from getting access to what God is revealing to us. So it's important to pray every day if you can. But if you're a new Christian, it's best to just take us take it one step at a time. Pray as as pray as you need to, pray as you as you want to. But then eventually, as we grow older in the faith as Christians, you 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 will build up and, and the Holy Spirit will, will will stir that 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 passion of of wanting to do more for God and. And stir, and God, will, and the Holy Spirit will stir you to to encourage to encourage you to pray more. But it, it's it's in the, it's independently done. It's not a uh, a preacher shouldn't really be judging you on on whether you pray or not. They should just preach the word and just encourage preach the word by encouragements. So that's the reason why we pray. You know, it's also praying goes a long way. Pray, pray, prayer basically protects us. Protects hum human beings, protects humanity, protects Christians, and protects governments. Because the Bible talks about praying for governments, people that are in, people that are in leadership, whether it's Christian or government, and pray for pray for pray for attacks as well. Pray against pray against attacks, any kind of attacks, whether it's whether it's secular or 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 anything at all, any kind of attack to human beings, the human race. And yeah, so that's the reason why we pray. It's very important, very crucial as a Christian. 
it's it's just as important as it's just as important as going to church. Well, it's it's one of the most it's one of the most top top tens or top five things that a Christian should should be doing regularly. But if you're like I said, if you're a new Christian, you know, take your time on it and give it time and don't rush into it. Take it one step at a time, and and yeah, yeah, you don't, it, you know, take it at your own pace and let the Holy Spirit burn within you to to give you the desire to pray more if you want. But it will it will it will come in time. Trust me on that one. So yeah, that's really all I have to say. And let me pray before before I finish. Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace and mercy you put upon us from past, present, and future. Heavenly Father, that we 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 help us to, to help us to be encouraged to pray, Father, for new Christians and non-believers, oh God, that are, that are just starting out, oh God, believe, new believers that are starting out, Father. Pray that your hand be upon them, Father, help them to help them and encourage them to pray, oh God, by your Spirit, by your Word, oh God. We plead, blood Jesus Christ, not strange and Father. Help them stir, stir, stir a passion inside of them, Holy Spirit and God and God, and Lord, stir, stir within them the desire to, the, the desire to pray, O God. Help them not to, help them not to lose sight of you, O God. And pray not to fall upon our situation. We plead by Jesus Christ in situation, in our situation. We pray for salvation for the world, O God. Pray grace and mercy be upon our situation, and we plead by Jesus Christ in our situation. We pray these things all in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. God bless you all. Bye for now and peace be with you.